We weren't expecting this. <laughs> After six weeks working in Saudi Arabia, Nigel returns to a very chilly London. And we make our way back over the channel to start our big European road trip. We need to drive through six countries in just three days to get to our destination in Italy. <laughs> Jeeves, I, I, I can't get over here. Bloody cold. Is that what I think it is? It's a fox. <laughs> it's a fox having a dump. There we go. There's the van. <laughs> get a suit and put the heater on I reckon. Welcome back to London. Hey! Wake up! Oh, I did hear some action. <laughs> oh, <God. Hello. laughs> Morning. I just want to get out of the car and it's freezing. Yeah, I know. Nigel's first beer in six weeks. <laughs> it's the, um, the Big C? What's, what was it? Yeah, uh, big yeah. Welcome back to Nigel and Sue Adventures. Back in the saddle. <laughs> we are about to leave London and get head, a ferry. Head for the hills. Let's go. So damn excited about this. Bye Luke's house. We made our way to Dover to catch a ferry across the English Channel. Okay, we have our ticket. You're right. Oh, I'm so glad we've made the ferry. Big drive today all the way to Saarbrück and I think we want to get to. Which is in Germany. Uh, heaps of room. Heaps of space. We have arrived in the port of Calais. That was a nice quick easy crossing wasn't it? It was good yeah. Alright let's go back to the van and hit the road. So we have just picked up a couple of hitchhikers. <laughs> what are your names? Uh, my name is Ola. And my name is Nella. Olaf and Nella. Nella yeah. Yeah. From Poland. From Poland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we are going to, to Lila. Yeah. <laughs> we just stopped to get fuel and they came up and said, Can you give us a ride? And we're like, No. And then I'm, we're like, Hang on, yeah, we can. We've got, we're licensed for four, four people. So, yeah, this is cool. We should make a habit of picking up hitchhikers. Yeah. <laughs> It was a big drive, passing through five countries. England, France, Belgium, Luxembourg and Germany. So we are parked up here right at the border. You can see it just out the window there of Belgium. Just having some lunch. Got a couple of toasted sandwiches on the go. Now I just got his uh, secret sauce, tomato sauce. The condiment king with all of his sauces. How good does that look? <laughs> Happy days. It's kind of just a truck stop. We figure this was probably where the old border checkpoint stop was back in the day. Nigel, we're just about to come into country number four for the day. No, you haven't. Here we go, into Luxembourg. I think this might be the, is this the border? We had to stop in Luxembourg for a cup of tea because Nigel had never been there before and wanted to add another country to his tally. I have, yeah. I had a pee in another country, that counts. <laughs> so he's even more ahead of me now. Not that, not that it's a competition or anything. What's that? Nothing. Well, he's listening to an audio book. No, I said not that it's a competition about who's been to the most countries. Who's winning? You're winning. Luxembourg is a small country, we're just going to drive through and shortly we'll be entering our fifth country for the day. That's just like insane that we've been in five countries today. So we'll be in Germany soon. And now we are back in Germany. We came this way into Germany as we had to get one of our gas bottles filled. Gas is not standardised across Europe and almost every country has their own bottles and different tap threads. So I was trying to figure out how to do the gas swap. Yeah, that's, so, the, so, that's the size of ours. Yeah, it? 11 kg. So I've yeah. so got to take ours out. And yeah, then... so this is empty gas bottles to, um, that you want to exchange. You've got to take them into the service centre. Right, right. Which will be okay, well, I'll do Maybe that. No, no, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just grab it out and um, take it in. There we go. 
Okay, so we've got the gas flusher, the gas bottle. We've done the exchange. So these bottles here, it's 11 kilos of gas and 13, the bottle weighs 13 kilos empty, I was reading. So it's 24 kilos there. Good job, Nige. And the price for that is 26 euros, which is about $40 Australian. And in Australia, we were paying 25, anywhere from kind of 18, 25 dollars for a 3.7 kilo bottle. So it's like three times the size of the bottle and not even double the price. So gas is a lot cheaper here in Germany. Yeah. And the kick, kicker is, you know, you get have big, big muscles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'd be kind of screwed if I had to do it. I wouldn't be able to get it in there. Good on you, Nige. And look, friends, this is why we want to travel along the B roads. It's so much more interesting. There we go. Heat it is on. Morning, friends. So we got new dunas for the van. It's like a sea of sea of dunas. <laughs> We feel like we're kind of being swamped by all these dunas. Um, yeah, because it, it's pretty cold. It's actually five degrees. We've woken up. It's eight o'clock in the morning, five degrees this morning. From 45 to five. <laughs> I don't think there's any worry about Nigel getting hungry today. <laughs> Look at that breakfast. Says, says she. Uh, just, uh... I didn't have ham and eggs, mate. Good morning, friends. We are south of Saarbrücken in this uh, Stellplatz or Mobile, Von Mobile Park, as they're called. Um, we're parked up over, over here. Typically with these um, places, you're gonna need change. <laughs> I was running around last night um, trying to find somebody who uh, uh, could break down a 50 um, because uh, yeah, they're open only between um, five and eight, uh, five and six. So come on with uh, some small stuff. Uh, we have uh, a grey, grey water dump over here, and they'll provide you with a code for uh, the toilet. And uh, there's fresh, fresh water which you you um, you pay uh, by coin. Yeah, we got a pretty good night's sleep, uh, nonetheless, and we're going to head on on our way to catch up with some really good friends of ours uh, down south in Switzerland. G'day friends, morning. Um, I'm just admiring this electrical system. Um, only just now connected the DC to DC, and I had to do a little bit of research to make sure that I wasn't going to blow anything up. I'm not a sparky. Anyway, um, it's connected and we're at 99%. Um, I think we've done a bit of an overkill on the... But what the hell. It's better to be looking at it than looking um, for it. So, yeah. Just Let's hit the road. We're heading to Zurich today. Yesterday we went, went through how many countries, Nigel? Five. Five countries yesterday. Today we'll be doing Germany, France, Switzerland. Three. Very shortly we're going to be crossing into Switzerland where we have to buy a vignette, which is like a a disc sticker on the um, windshield which covers us to drive on all of the motorways in Switzerland and you can only buy an annual one you can't just buy it for one or two days and it costs 40 Swiss francs okay, so this looks like there's just a little place here that we go in where we get our vignette so we've decided to stop here for lunch I'm just going to make some sandwiches quickly while Nigel needs to remove the old Austrian sticker which is no longer valid so we can put the Swiss one in that spot there. Good sandwich. Mm. <clears throat> Real good. We are parked up at the Swiss border where there are really disgusting toilets. We're getting rather a sticker collection on the vehicle. We've got the bottom one is German then we've got a French one and then up there, the one on the right is the new, brand new Swiss one, and the one on the left is the Austrian one. And then there's another one, another one on the front, an Australian sticker. <laughs> so, need maybe... A key, need a Kiwi one, though. Yeah. 
The Kiwi one didn't arrive in time. Well, he's slow, isn't he, old Kiwi? Yeah, he's, I know. He's flightless bird, isn't he? <laughs> so, yeah, I did order that one, but it didn't arrive before we left the UK. He's still, he's still walking. So hopefully now, because <clears throat> people look at our um, number plate and come and speak to us in German, but now that my, they might get the picture that we're... Uh, go, yeah, go rambling on in German or so. <laughs> Welcome to Switzerland. We drove on the Swiss motorways through many tunnels and then through farmland and small villages to get to our friend's place, which is in a small town just outside of Zurich. We met Petri and Erika in Sri Lanka in 2016 and we've kept in touch. So Petri's showing us their camper. That's pretty cool. So it's all pretty fancy. Well, it's basic. <laughs> I like Nothing it. Special. I like it too. So, so how do you climb up in the bed? This is going to go so down. That, oh, that'll, that'll slide back, yeah? yeah. So then, then this one comes up, so you got to oh, stand up to the end. OK. Yeah. And then, so where does your bed go? Beer. Yeah, your bed. bed, your bed. bed. The bed. bed. Huh. No, and then you pull so, that down and yeah. you climb up into it, Nigel. So two adults oh, up oh okay here. so that okay so that comes down you climb thing, up in there to go to sleep and then, and then you push it out of the way to this also turns into a bed so basically if you completely yeah. max it out and four adults can sleep with this oh wow <laughs> yeah cool i like yeah. it we caught up to plan some van life adventures together for next year this is petri the drill sergeant <laughs> the opening drill. a bottle of wine <laughs> With his drill. Yes. Yes, and right. Erica looking on disapprovingly. <laughs> Rolling eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. Yeah. Oh, this is the shit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't know. No. It's not just encouraging him. So, wait, what, what is on the drill? It's a special made for that. Like, yes. Oh, it's, it's made? Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. Can't believe they oh yeah, cause look at how long that is. Get out of town, Bosch. I need one. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, the man cave. Yeah, I've been thinking it about does not. putting yes, it. So, like you could attach this to any trail. I've been thinking about putting it to my big ass hammer trail. <laughs> <laughs> you probably smash the bottles. <laughs> smash the bottle. We had such a lovely night with our friends Petri and Erica. Mm, it was. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Great people. Pizzas. Beers, wines. Wines. <laughs> Whiskies. <laughs> Might have been a sneaky whiskey in there. Yeah, I didn't have a whiskey. A few stories. Mm -hmm. Oh, that old chestnut. I'll All just right. go back and shut the cutlery drawer. Oh, and the bloody... Bathroom door. A little bit of uh, rain this morning. Yeah, so let's show you what it looks like today. It's not the best day, but... Despite the overcast conditions, we're going to be uh, in for some beautiful scenery, some beautiful lake views, and then popping out the other side, possibly through the Nora Tunnel, although we, we are considering going over the top over the pass. We'll have to have a look at the timings for that. So, Nigel, how does it feel to be back <laughs> in driving in Switzerland and Europe? <laughs> I was getting a little bit emotional, you know, like it, it, uh, yeah, well, it's like taking you back, never got bored with two passengers around Europe. A little bit dust in the eye, to be fair. How can you not slip into gratitude when you're going through countryside like this? But wow, what a cool country. It didn't take long looking at this beautiful scenery to realise we'd have to drive over the mountain pass. Even though the weather wasn't great, it just seemed wrong to drive through an 18 kilometre tunnel and miss all this beauty. All this traffic is lined up to go through the tunnel, which is, was once the longest tunnel in Europe, it's no longer, but it is a very long tunnel at 18 kilometres, which just goes through these mountains. We have decided today to take the pass. Hopefully we'll have some great views when we get to the top. It's very winding. We're gonna to go up lots and lots of Schwitz 
Switch. 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 Swiss backs. Swiss backs. <laughs> Switch backs as we make our way up to the top. Train. Then you got look at the, we've got waterfalls here. We've got a guy going up there on his bike. Wow, that was so cool. That was so cool. What I didn't catch on film, what's then. On the <laughs> it's just a light. <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on over here? It's all, it's all snowy. <laughs> it's retarded. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Um, Nigel just said it would be cool to see that train coming and then we saw it. So cool. So yeah, it runs this it's like a cog railway. Obviously it's got to climb up. Maybe it so goes all the way, it said the Matterhorn. Mm. We've still got 16 kilometers to go till we get to the top of the pass, so uh, yeah. But we're gonna stop and have a coffee, it's almost eleven o'clock. And, um, and we'll stop for lunch at the top. Four degrees, you were saying, night? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just sort of started to hit the uh, snow line here. Yeah, we can see little bits of snow out there. snow yeah little fluffs of snow yeah <laughs> that's two degrees yeah it's not raining it's snowing now yeah. yeah. oh my god friends it's snowing <laughs> It's cold and windy and it's snowing <laughs> but it's really cool. We weren't expecting this. See all that down there. See all that traffic waiting to come in. Yeah. Well, we weren't expecting this. <laughs> Snow well, in the mountains. Snowing. <laughs> Albeit a little flicker of snow. Snow yeah. nonetheless. It's cold. Can we go back to the van please? So this is about where the tunnel comes out. We would have missed all that beautiful scenery. 
We went through one last tunnel and emerged on the banks of Lake Maggiore. Oh, look at that. Little islands there, there, look. Then we crossed the border into Italy. Oh, are we going to get stopped? No. Welcome. Italia. Ah, uh, <laughs> Grazie. Yum. Grazie. Okay. Un altro bicchiere? You want one? You want, you want, you want? No, solo uno. Grazie. Uh. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Here we are in Italy. <laughs> Finally, we've made it. Well, better way to celebrate than with the Aperol Spritzer. Yum. We hope you've enjoyed this journey with us. Join us next time as we explore Lake Maggiore and the Borromeo Islands and enjoy La Dolce Vita. Oh, uh -huh. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>